Now I'm actually recording. <laughs> this is this is Stardew Valley, not you. Four. I had the wrong scene set up, and we're just talking into nothing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just pop on in here. <laughs> I was saying I don't remember what. what I was pointing out. Oh, I was talking about my my desk being kind of short. It being particularly noteworthy because I'm not making eye contact with the camera right now. Now I am. Now I'm looking at you, but I can't really see what the fuck I'm doing. Now, typically, that's mitigated by having somebody sit below their their monitor. Having the monitor uh, at eye level or above. So I'm not looking down, I'm looking straight ahead, or I'm looking up at you. If I'm looking up at the camera and up at the mo monitor, it just looks like I'm making eye contact. I kind of like, look at the difference between this me looking and... This is me looking. But now I'm super short. <laughs> it feels, feels like I'm a child playing at a, a normal desk. But because my chin is lifted up, I'm still not making eye contact with the camera. But it's, it's better framing a little bit. A little bit. Ah. Uh, but I really like my desk for when I'm not streaming. Pretty comfortable for me to oh, look down. It's a non-issue. Well, it's it's not a non-issue. A marginal issue. Did this get water? Yeah, that did not get water. Okay. And this would be some pretty monstrous green beans if this is the scale. I like green beans. Growing green beans is super easy. As we've demonstrated a few times. I I tend to grow green beans in my apartments because I like the vines, I like when they creep up the walls or uh, windows in particular. They are pretty fun to make them climb up windows. They don't live forever, but you know, they don't need to. I... Yeah, the game does seem a little loud compared to the bike, but this is... <laughs> I... have already adjusted things considerably. Let's see, let's see. This is still using... proper settings, right? You can't see what I'm doing right now, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noise suppression, noise gate, composite, yeah, and uh, I go out here. Yeah, there's a compressor, there's a ducker. So it's it's sounding better than it would. Hmm. Now I'm now the game looks way too quiet to me. That's about right. Looking at the comparison between me and it, I am I'm looking louder. <laughs> Did that help at all, Thor? Or is it still sounding off to you? Yeah, God. I this game I like a lot about it, but the sound options are not great. I can't set it to a number and the sound depends on the uh, the character that you're playing. All the all the settings change when you start a new character, so none of my old settings carried over. Pretty annoying. Unfortunately, I can't I can't super easily listen to playback while streaming or recording, because it's a nightmare. Sounds pretty rough if I do. Man, my throat is not happy. I was feeling fine when I was streaming earlier, and I've been... I probably have not been drinking enough water today. Had tea. Yeah, yeah, that's probably part of it. 
<laughs> Green beans are really easy to grow. I mean, they don't even require that you water them that often. But I think I think baby's first uh, vegetable would probably be tomatoes. If I had to recommend somebody or a uh, first vegetable for somebody to grow, tomatoes are probably the way to go. They're super easy, like super fucking easy. Because if you overwater tomatoes, I mean to a point. If you overwater tomatoes too much, they will get absolutely disgusting, but. For the most part, they do pretty well with an excess of water, because they just get bigger. So, big tomatoes are not necessarily nutritious tomatoes. Tomatoes have been naturally selected for size, rather than nutritional value for the most part. Well, naturally selected, have been, uh have been selected for size rather than nutritional value necessarily because you're much more likely to buy a sexy big ripe or, or orange tomato than you are to buy one that might be healthier for you but doesn't look as appetizing <laughs> what was i trying to do i think Farming is something we were trying to do to get our farming skill higher so that I can get a seed maker by next spring. More ancient seeds would be nice. I thought, you know, super important. Kind of important. Was I trying to get new tools made? Maybe. Maybe. I really don't remember. It's only been like a day. Wasn't I playing this last night? No. Night before? Ooh, yeah, night before. Mm -hmm. I intended to play a lot more of this today, but an hour will do. I also intended to play about twice as much EU4, but I don't know. I don't know. After a certain point, I just wanted to go do something else. I was having fun, but... Nah. How far away is the mic from me? That's about right. <laughs> Since I moved the chair down, I moved slightly further away from the mic than I normally am. I've talked in the past about setting up my mic so that it's uh, fixed. It's static. It's not a mobile mic. But I don't know if I would honestly like that very much. It's kind of fun swinging it around. <laughs> Make some other things inconsistent, but that's all right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what the first plant I ever grew was. Because I come from farm people, those sets of grandparents own farms, my dad grew up on a farm, my mom is decently well acquainted with agriculture, um, they taught me. So I'm, I'm pretty sure tomatoes were what I grew first, strawberries were what I wanted to grow. As a kid I just wanted to grow tons and tons of strawberries. But strawberries are a bit harder, a bit more finicky, a bit more picky than tomatoes. I think it was tomatoes. Of course, I helped plant seeds at my Vavon Bulbul's farm all the time. That's grandma and grandpa and uh, lazy Portuguese. I say lazy Portuguese because I don't pronounce it quite right. But that's how I've always pronounced it, therefore that's, it's, it's like calling your grandpa Gran, or something like that, or Grandad instead of Grandfather. It's, it's technically incorrect, but correct. Sweet peas. Hmm. Sweet peas are cute. Never grew any.
<laughs> I just wanted strawberries. I wasn't even into the plants in particular. I just really fucking loved strawberries as a kid. Oh, wait, today the last day is spring? No, tomorrow is. It's locked. <laughs> These are pretty good. Opening pea pots was fun as a kid, you're not wrong. I, I enjoyed that a lot. It felt it felt like dissecting something, which I suppose it is, but without viscera involved. So it kinda of felt like less gross science. <laughs> I'm really not seeing many, uh, dig spots at all. I... I think it's every time I go to the beach. Really, a lot of this game just makes me want to play Animal Crossing. I haven't played an Animal Crossing since the GameCube game, but trust me, the temptation has been very strong to pick up a newer device and play, play Animal Crossing. It was my jam for a very long time. Such a peaceful, relaxing game. It's such a small town, you can't avoid meeting everyone. Well, I mean, you say that. You say that, Penny. I'm doing a pretty good job at not meeting everyone. Well, uh, playing Nintendo products is, is a bit of a mixed bag because they tend to be pretty... pretty quick on YouTube, at least, on claiming copyright content. Especially when it comes to music or certain IP. Nintendo is very litigious and protective of its intellectual property. So maybe, maybe, but I don't know. I've thought about it. No, I haven't looked into it very much because if I were to play Animal Crossing, I'd be playing a ROM of Animal Crossing. Because <laughs> I'm not about to spend the necessary amount of money to set up a recording, <laughs> a, a capture station proper to record old school Animal Crossing and reacquire the necessary hardware for that. I'm potentially open to it, but resistant. Resistant to it. Hesitant, maybe. Not, not resistant. I'm hesitant. down a tree with an axe. Not a full tree, no. I'm, I'm thinking aloud more than anything else. I've chopped down small trees, saplings more than anything else, with an axe, and even that can be surprisingly hard sapling, sir. Quite bouncy. I mean, they kind of need to be like, uh, like most babies. Saplings are predisposed to be flexible and durable so that they can keep growing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what I pick, gather. Okay, it's the last day of spring. It doesn't matter if we water anything. The only thing we need to water out there, out there, out there, out there is the ancient seed, ancient fruit, ancient. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, wow, this <laughs> those strawberries probably did not pay off. 
So summer starts tomorrow. What are we going to grow in summer? Corn. You know why we're growing corn in summer? Because fucking stuff grows all summer, all fall, and I don't have to replant. <laughs> Spend money once and just keep getting returns. Now this all going fallow for all the day does present us with an opportunity. We can now make sprinklers. Ah, copper and iron. Wow. Uh, yeah, well, I can make sprinklers. I can only make the copper parts. <laughs> not, not good enough. Not good enough. Okay, so I guess it's uh, going to the mines today and see what we can find. Boop, boop, boop. I'll drop that off, drop that off. I don't need this in the mines. I don't need that in the mines. Let's go. Anything I pick up along the way, I'm just gonna eat. I honestly don't think we're going to get to the point where I get any iron, but. I would be pleased to be surprised. The traveling merchant, she does sometimes sell sprinklers. In fact, I think the last time we checked her out, she was selling sprinklers. Pretty nice. I'm working on a game. I'm working on smelting a copper bar. I wonder what a no-farm run of Stardew Valley would look like. It's probably quite possible. By a no-farm run, what I mean is you go into the caves as soon as possible. You fish, you go into the caves, you harvest stuff. Maybe you chop down the trees, but you don't grow anything. And, uh, Iron Islands style playthrough. You do not sow. This is partially appealing, but also seems like you know, this is a game about farming, so a lot of the core mechanics would kind of be missed. Well, this isn't a horrible level for picking up copper and quartz, which are two-thirds of what we need, but iron is what the game does demand of me, and that's going to be a little trickier to get our grubby little hands on. Algae's fine. Up, up, up. That is a crab. No, no. Less, less flies. God, I really hate this section of the mines. Oh, you're taking too long. Let's just spawn some real fucking annoying enemies. Flying enemies in the mines are quite tedious. Also, where the fuck do they come from? It's not like it's not like the mines go off. These are walls that you cannot scale. Maybe the ah, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't need to make sense. It's a game. It's a silly game. It does not need to be clear or immersive where the bugs are making their homes. I'll take that. Do I want the bug meat? No, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going out of my way to kill the harmless little bugs because of the Adventurer's Guild, the Boar's Guild, whatever. They reward us for it. Crazy idea. What if, uh, 
You stop bothering me. You fly. Don't bother me. Don't bother me no more. And not a ladder to see. Okay. No ladders. I would like a ladder, please. Pretty please game. Give me a ladder. I'm already halfway through the day. A very unlucky day, unfortunately. Otherwise, the geodes might be an okay place to get some... I don't know, it'd be a terrible place to get some iron, but, you know, geodes can have a lot of interesting things in them. Geodes hold many secrets, egg... Ed, egg boy? Ed boy. Rolf from Ed, Ed, and Eddie creeped me the hell out when I was a kid. Now, not so much. Right? Not like him when I was a child. That was one of my favorite TV shows as a. Yeah, not a teenager, but preteen? A 10, 10 year old, 11 year old? That's some quality stuff. Of many shows from the time period, it did an exemplary job of capturing the feeling of living in a cul de sac. Cul de sac. Cold de sac? Cold the sac? Living in one of those places as a kid. In the weird little social microcosm that it represents. When you're that young, it's your whole world. And anything outside of it, even if it's not very far away, feels monumentally far. I mean, from, a, from an art design, from an art design, from a graphic design perspective, it that's some pretty cool fucking character designs, some very memorable character designs. Oh god, right, this is where shit gets annoying. Oh look, harmless little maggots. I'm sure those won't be a problem. Or well, if you let them live, they sure fucking will. This is my least favorite section of the mines. I'm just, I'm just cutting my way through trying to get out of here. That yeah, was quite good. Surprisingly good. I would... I'd recommend it. It's very 90s feeling. But I'd recommend it. You have something for me. Little slime. Now, these the slimes with the... stars on their antenna. I don't know what exactly that's supposed to mean, but it's a pretty clear universal indication of, hey, there's something special here. Hey, this has sweet loot, or hey, this is different. I think that these always drop something. Case in point, rubber boots. It's trash. <laughs> it's not always good, but they do drop something. God damn it, come on. Fuck off. Just trying to get my cop on. Cop, copper on. I'm just, you know what? We're moving on. Oh boy. These spiral zones are very pretty. Kind of fun. Very aesthetically pleasing, but also incredibly frustrating when you're trying to just find your way out. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. Steel small sword. It's better than the wooden blade, right? It's significantly better than the wooden blade. Hell yeah. Let's keep going. Oh boy. Yep. Bugs. So many. Well, at least the steel small sword is dispatching these a bit more easily than they were before. Still, too many of them. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> He's got. It. Ah, this is really interesting to me, though. The uh, the rocks that take two hits to break give you experience, but the rocks that take one hit to break don't seem to give any experience. Now, every time I've been 
in the mines, I've mostly gone after the easier to break rocks, which apparently has been slowing my skill development. Intentionally avoiding difficult things, turns out, doesn't help you grow. Even if it's because you've learned it's the efficient way to do things, sometimes you just have to go after more difficult challenges. <laughs> Using a pickaxe can be pretty dangerous. I... <laughs> I guess it could be fun, but... Every time I've seen a real pickaxe, I've wanted very little to do with it. You can really hurt someone with that. And yourself included. No, I've used a pickaxe. I've used a pickaxe to just, like, break up soil, I think? Break up something. I... Concrete, maybe? Like, to help pick up... I, I, it's been such a long time. It was as a teenager. Alright, that's it. I have no more energy. Nothing left to kill. Nothing left to eat. No, I'm a liar. I can eat algae. Not the best source of energy, but it's something. left down here, topaz. A bunch of this we will... well, maybe not. The topaz looks like it doesn't need to be donated. Some of this we'll need to donate because it's the first time we picked up. Come at me, mole man! Uh, our character's eating algae a lot more excitedly than I would be. I don't know, maybe algae tastes really great. I've never tried it before. <laughs> I mean, you can. You can definitely... <laughs> you can definitely do that. It sounds funny. Let me out! Let me out! Ah, do I want this copper? Yeah, I guess this... This looks like it might be our last level. Or I have to turn back... Go back to the farm. Oh, the night. Okay, one of these box rings, so we're at least not leaving empty handed. I really wanted a way down. That's okay. You're starting to feel exhausted. Yeah, you're telling me, game. You're telling me. No! <laughs> No, 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 I'm leaving. I'm out. Keep the mine. I feel like you might have a hard time pulling that off, Cora, but you're, you're welcome to try. Seems like a good way to miss. There are a lot of chips all over the place, but... Hmm. Well, we have a bunch of stuff. Didn't quite get iron, which is what I wanted, but that's no surprise. We really have not done much in the mine at all, at all to date. Okay, you, you, you. Oop, oop, oop. Do I really want to keep the topaz? I mean, it's someone's favorite gift. Yeah, yeah, just hold on to it. Sell these though. Sell this. Guess this gets trash. I could probably sell it somewhere else, but that's fine. Journal updated. <laughs> Pop another one. How, how long will this take? 30 minutes? It'll be done around midnight, but nah, it's okay. Let's get out of here. 
and call it a day, and we will say hello to summer. The end of our beans. It's corn time! <laughs> Is it going to tutorialize how this works? That might. that down here so I don't have to look at it. This I need, this I need. I was really just hoping to make the most simple kind of sprinkler just so I wouldn't have to come here and water the one fruit that matters every day, but that's okay. Once that starts producing fruits, we're going to be incredibly excited because we can use that to make seeds to get more ancient fruit. And really, <laughs> from a financial point standpoint, that's all I need for the rest of the game. Okay, so here's a question. Do I want to plant corn and deal with having to manage corn, or do I just want to go to the mines, get iron, and get better prepared to just deal with... Listen, the seed maker sounds great, but I don't have that, so I need corn. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> I'd like to be able to skip that step, but I can't. Is it open at 11? 9. Okay, it opens at 9. <laughs> Corey, I think what you want is just to go break some rocks. <laughs> VR farm work, just... You might as well go do farm work. <laughs> Yes, yep, yep, yep. I really should take you to my grandparents' farm so you could just try doing some farm work and see if you actually like it. It can be it can be satisfying, pretty deeply satisfying, but it can also be Fucking exhausting. Yes, hello, I'm here for your corn. Alright! I really like pepper. Uh. Do not sell corn. Uh, you do, you do. Can you walk through corn? Corn, sardu, maui. This is going to be a deciding factor in which one I get. Corn. It's a vegetable crop that grows from corn seeds after 14 days can't remember if you can walk through corn. Walkable plants? Ardu? It's, it's not on a trestle. There we go. Non-walkable crops. Give me this. Trellis crops. Ones with a stick on the back. That's it. Green beans, hops, and grapes all grow on trellises, which are impassable. Okay. Now, I, I, I've complained about this in, uh, in New Vegas, that everyone grows corn. God, corn is so... such a terrible thing to grow because it's... Well, we have a lot of money. <laughs> we have a fair amount of money. You can buy a hundred corn seeds? I guarantee I can't plant all of these and water all of these, but we'll see. I complain about people growing corn because it's not really that good of a source of nutrition, but it is profitable. It's very, very profitable.
we need to run back. We definitely can, but I, I have a feeling I'm not going to want to. I mean, I may. I probably could have done the math on how much, how many little plots we have here and how much I should have gotten, but yeah, it's okay. Hmm. Nope. I definitely could have grown more corn than this. Just 100 seemed like such a big number. I can always go back. <laughs> Do I want to go back or not? It's a completely different question, but I can go back. Stardew Valley is a Truman Show? I mean, could be. Because everything's too perfect? Makes sense. Kind of, sort of. Okay, okay, I don't remember how far you go. Immediately lost it. Okay. This, and then one down. This, and here. This is as far as it goes. And how far down do you go? No, all the way, all the way. We're good. I bet you just cover the entire area as well. Yep, you can actually go one further over this way if you want to. And then this tree's in the way. That's okay. There we go. Alright, let's buy more seeds. How long is this open? Five o'clock? Five o'clock. Yeah, let's buy more seeds. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not quite perfect. Not everyone in this town is struggling with mental health issues. They're just vaguely believable people. Everyone has different problems, but nothing too crazy. Not like people are viciously or horribly uh, hallucinating or anything like that. Nothing terribly debilitating. Fuck, just fuck me up. Spend everything on corn seeds. Delightful. Like, no, we're gonna go mining. <laughs> what a fool I was. The call of the corn is too great to ignore. Now, I intentionally dug a bunch of new, or hoed, tilled, a bunch of new soil. So that would reduce the amount of energy I have. So I can probably water more plants per day than I'm watering today, and planting today. That is a little safety buffer just to give myself a little bit of energy for accidentally watering the wrong tiles like I'm doing right here. And for if there's other stuff I want to do, not being completely out of energy every single bit. Mm 
Someone who advocates people uh, dress in a way that makes them happy or look in a way that makes them happy, you really do have something. Really do have it out for Pierre and his sense of style. <laughs> you want to call him the most stylish dude, but your vendetta is is quite quite noted. I think he looks. Fine, unimpressive, but fine. Okay. We can clearly water all of that in one day. Maybe a bit more than that, too. Can we just wait behind this all day? Yeah, why not? Why not? Ah. <clears throat> That problem. Something odd going on in the community center. Oh, right, we didn't even go in. <laughs> ah, that's future Alex's problem. So right now, I'm pretty pretty contented in just growing corn to raise our farming skill so we can get the seed maker, so we can use seed maker to make seeds. Not just any seeds. 40. Uh, God, I don't even remember. What the, what the fuck the seeds are called in the first episode of Rick and Morty. Uh, we're going after the ancient seeds. Because those are by far the most profitable crops to grow. They're also a huge pain in the ass to start growing in mass. You gotta start somewhere. They are the only plant, the only crop that grows all year round. If you plant them spring... Day one, they will continue growing until the end of fall. Now, nothing grows in winter, but still, ancient seeds are really, really good. Now, you can get ancient seeds through other ways besides digging them up like we did. Through the seed maker, you just randomly have a chance of getting ancient seeds. Not a great chance, but something. <clears throat> hmm. You know, I could be foraging right now. Foraging would be making us a little more money. But this might raise our mining ability? Actually, I don't think it does. Because the game would be showing me getting XP if that were the case. God, is it is it level ten that you get access to what I'm wanting from farming? God, I hope not. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there regardless. Just just want to make some seeds. Why is this gotta be so hard? <laughs> well, part of the seed maker is going to necessitate us having the material to make a seed maker, which is probably going to require that I go deeper into the mines. But fortunately, that's what winter is for, more or less. Winter, you can't grow much of anything. It's a great time to go into the mines. <laughs> and it's pretty late. It's almost two. I'm surprised that you're still awake. Yeah, I'll I'll be off of here in about 15 minutes so I can come tuck you in. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. Ah. No, I, I probably wasn't going to hop back on here tonight, but I, w <laughs> I found myself opening up Stellaris and wanting to play like a, a very immersive roleplay human run. Not not in New Horizons, either. Not in Star Trek New Horizons, just... Vanilla. But I, I almost immediately started getting annoyed at the scale of the solar system. And I was thinking, God, I just need to update my mod so my odd mod can work with this. And I haven't updated my mod in months, and people have been commenting on that. 
being like, ah, looks like this mod is dead, and you're not wrong. It's it's just, it's not dead, it's just severely neglected. <laughs> it's just, no, essentially the same thing. It's, it's a fun experiment, but it's pretty annoying having to rewrite the same files every time DLC comes out just to make it work. I wish that there were an easier time or easier way to overwrite the underlying code that it could just write over it on its own. Or re rewrite over, uh, God, how do I express this? That it can rewrite system files, meaning uh, solar system files, not computer or software files, it is software files, but it's fine. Uh, rewrite the files on its own without having to be redone manually. Like recalculating distances on its own and be able to switch out appropriate values without me having to go in line by line and do it, but I, I, I kind of have to go in line by line and do it. And unfortunately, Every fucking time there's a worthwhile update, or a substantial update, solar system files get changed. Which is cool, because it means new stuff's being added to the game, but it means I need to tweak all that new stuff to fit in well with the old stuff, and I need to make sure the old stuff isn't conflicting with the new stuff, and it, it isn't that hard, but it's time-consuming, and when I'm working a lot, and I'm trying to play other games, keep up with media, Dream, record things, work on other projects, spend time with my partner. It can be pretty time consuming to do. It isn't hard work. Doing the calculations at the beginning to figure out what I should change things to or what the conversion ratio should be, or setting up the uh, the scaling model that I wanted to use, that was that was a lot of thought. But when I go back in and I edit or update my mod, it's not a very intellectual process. It's very... Remove this, copy this, change this to this. This is this because this is this. Do math, do math, do math. Very simple, repetitive, exhausting math. Take this, replace this. Take this, replace this. I still love the end result. I think the end result looks gorgeous in comparison to... Uh, the vanilla system. Build the vanilla system. Solar system at least has gotten a lot better. Is there something planted here? Good. It has come a long way. Yeah, I've been craving a new Base 4X style game. I've gotten to know the ones that I play too well. And for immersion, really set in. I need to have less of a good idea of what I'm doing. I I almost wanted to say I need to have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but that just that's not fun. That's frustrating. I need to have an okay idea of what I'm doing. I need this story to carry me rather than my knowledge of the mechanics or underlying code or anything else. I really do appreciate how small the, uh, the farmable sections on this map are. It's a very interesting artificial difficulty. It contains, or constrains, contains. It constrains how much growth you can accomplish just through farming alone. Makes you maybe be a bit more thoughtful about what you're growing, where you're growing, and all that. And aesthetically, it forces me, in particular, to strike a much cleaner balance just between slapping down crops all over the place and trying to make it look half decent. <laughs> well, let's grab you, we can donate this at the museum. 
I guess we could go spelunking a little bit, go into the mines and try to get a bit deeper, but probably not going to have too much luck. So, wouldn't hurt to try. Gonna swing by, donate the rusty spur, go to the beach, go to the forest, come back, sell what we have, then go up north, look for anything to forage, swing by the mines if I still have the energy and the time, just do the usual loop. Alex is talking about his hair being popular with the ladies. What ladies? Who are you? Ew, you're all dirty. You, Haley. <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? This is a very small town. Four muscles, two cockles. Ah, it's got a silly name. I have a juvenile sense of humor. I offer a little apology. Ah. Now, I may... I may get around to editing, modding a little bit tonight, programming a little bit tonight. But, this seemed like a better way to use my time. Playing a bit more Stardew. Pushing out the backlog a little bit. It is 1.50 a.m. on Tuesday, September 24th, 2018. 25th. 25th. September 18th. 2018. <laughs> so, September... <laughs> now, I... I don't know what I will be streaming today besides Pathfinder Kingmaker. I have real temptation. It comes out at 8 a.m. my time, which is six hours for those of you doing the math. Part of me just wants to stay awake and play it as soon as it's available. Part of me knows I should sleep and not sabotage my sleep schedule. I, another small part of me is thinking that I shouldn't start playing it until I finish the current EU4 campaign because <laughs> the current EU4 campaign is fun and we're, we're like a third of the way there maybe a fourth of the way there and it's taken about eight hours to accomplish that now it should be significantly faster on the home stretch here playing as Delhi taking over India reforming the Delhi Sultanate to its historic heights, but, well, I don't know, I don't know. This, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and not that, but sell the bread, keep the bread, eat the bread, sell the bread, eat the bread. Because <laughs> it's got enough energy to please let me mine a little bit. This will probably be our last day for today. I'm gonna get a ton done. Switched over from spring to summer. Bought a lot of corn. Got some more stuff. These can give quite a bit of energy. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe I can get the, for the help of chanterelles. Ooh, and grapes. Common mushrooms. Why not? Why not? I'll give it a shot. I'd love to get a hold of some iron. If I did get some iron, uh, well, it's a little too late for a lot of our crops, but I might, I might butcher, <laughs> butcher our fields to try to help things get watered. Immediate, immediate bad start using the hoe. Okay. Give me a ladder. Nope. Whoop. 
Now I have mixed motivations coming down here. You notice I'm talking a lot about we gotta get deeper, we gotta find the ladders, etc, etc, etc. And then I stop every time I see copper, because we do need copper, and pretty badly at that. Oh, I should have put this in a box. I should have put that in a box. I should have put everything in a box. I should have put you in a box. That's okay. Take out the slime. Yeah, yeah. Excuse you? How dare you? I think you misunderstand the, our arrangement here. You would just stand there, get hit by the sword many times, and then die. And then I complain about how you don't drop a staircase, and or a ladder, and continue on my way. This is the way of the world. easier to kill than they used to be. Maybe, maybe it's just confirmation bias, or knowing now what to do, or, I mean, there's really not much to do. You walk up to them, swing your sword, and they die. I recall them being much more resilient in the past. Maybe I was just using a much worse sword, but of course, to get this well, I would have had to find this sword. I don't know. I'm not complaining that this is easy. I'm just confused why I ever had difficulty at all with it in the past. Okay. I'm not gonna get another five levels, am I? Oh, I don't need five levels, I need three levels. Still, that ain't happening. Well, may happen. Just gotta get this copper, and get out of here. We basically need a level an hour. <laughs> that's a that's a big ass there, champ. It shouldn't be, but it will be. Oh, if I follow this, will it lead me to an exit? Yeah, it might, it may, it may, or it may just dead end you. I have a feeling it's just going to dead end me. If it does, that means we have to weave and... yep. Gotta weave. <laughs> Give me a ladder, otherwise I have to run back to the entrance. I need to run back to the entrance. I need to stop doing what I'm doing. Yep, okay. What a waste! What a waste! Ooh, we're gonna have a hard time getting home on time. Keep the mind now. I'll probably get home before midnight. Hmm, at midnight? Will I be in bed by midnight? That's the question. I think it's 1 a.m. that's the real deal breaker, but... Honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while. I can't imagine going to bed by midnight every single night. That would drive me absolutely insane. No doubt, it's probably a healthy way to live your life, but... Not for me. I need to be awake at night to feel happy and healthy. Okay, well, in bed at 11.50, and that's it. That's the last day. 
And the spring, the, the hot spring just opened up. Wow, that's a small amount of money. Next time, we'll be on day three. Summer, year one. There was an earthquake. Ooh, it's raining. Well, even if I had been low energy, it'll be fine. Well, neat. I'm excited to get back to this. I am very excited to start streaming uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker later today, or this afternoon, or this morning, whenever it happens. I'm excited to jump into that. Until then, and there will there will be more of this up tomorrow, naturally, if you're watching on YouTube. Until then, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe on all the different things. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Alexandrian Codex, you know the drill by now. Until tomorrow, toodaloo. Take care. Bye-bye. See you then.